Hey guys, my name is Loco Doco, the better looking host of Listen Loco, and you're watching Doran's YouTube channel. So obviously this is brought to you by Gamer Sups. If you want to support me, get some delicious Gamer Sups. I like flavors like Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000, which is just strawberry and lime for the Russian Badger. I like the Cherry Lime Suckle one. I think that's really delicious. That's a really nice sweet flavor, but it's not sickly sweet. I think it also is a really nice blend. Obviously it has a really nice come up, lasts a long time. It's cheap. You can get 10% off using the code Thorin, T-H-O-R-N. Gamesups.gg. Obviously, you can also support me if you do so. I only have one portion a day. I find it delicious. They've got all these delicious teas. Like, they've got a Yerba Mate, which is a classic one. They've got a black tea, which is obviously a classic one. They've got ginger turmeric, which is good for, I think, your immune system. And then they've got, if you want for sleep, obviously, if you use Gamesups, this pairs well with it. They've got the Sleepy Time one, which doesn't have caffeine in and has L-theanine, which will help you sleep as part of your sleep stack at the end of the night. Maybe have a drink of this an hour before bed. You can also get that using the code Thorin for 10% off. And if you do order something from Gamer Subs, be sure to add in some free samples so you can try a few other flavors. They'll just send you a random little pack of like three different uh, sample packs. This video here, if anyone watched League of Legends Summoning Insight episode, you'll have seen we played this at the beginning of one of them. It was quite a cool concept for a video. It was one of those like short hype slash narrative slash teaser videos that I actually do. This one was made by someone called... Right, there you go. It was made by someone called The Morgster, and it was written and narrated by me. This was a video where the premise was, it was about the player Zeka. Zika, I say Zika, so I'm just going to keep saying that. And basically, he is obviously now the Hanwell Life mid laner, but this is back from when it was about the 2022 year where he won Worlds with DRX. And obviously, if people don't know, DRX was a massive shock to even make Worlds. Then at Worlds, to necessarily... I mean, they, they probably would have been expected because they're Korean to still come out second out their group, probably over Rogue. But to win your group was absurd. They did. They won over top eSports and Rogue. Then in the playoffs, they had the hardest bracket imaginable. They played the reigning champions EDG in the first round, beat them, even though, by the way, they needed an extra game's win because famously Death did that attack where the inhib spawned last second. They had to lose that game and then come back and win another game to win 3-2. Then in the semis, they played Chovy and Genji, who were the best Korean team at the time, beat Beat them 3-1. In the final, they played Fakers T1, the second best team in Korea, and the champions of Spring, who did like undefeated split and looked fucking mega. And they were looking awesome going into the finals. Remember, they absolutely dusted off RNG. Then they fucked JDG in all the team fights. And in the final, it was inconceivable DRX would win. It was already a miracle they'd actually made it to the final. But amazingly, they won in five games, and this guy, Zika, got to become a world champion. Even though, by the way, he'd never at the time played in like an LCK final. He was irrelevant when he played in the LPL. He was a nobody, by the way. So I, obviously, I think he's one of the biggest flukes ever. Even though, by the way, he did play awesome at that tournament. People famously said he only had a couple of champions, which he was able to pick a few times. Now, look, there were also some big performances elsewhere. Deft was pretty good. I think King and had like a crazy final you could never expect from him. Pioshik's always been the most crazy Korean coin flip jungler ever, and he was here. And Beryl has that like dark tech slash weird drafts slash... He is just like, look, I don't think he's a truly all-time great player, but he's certainly like a very good player. His resume would certainly get him in the Hall of Fame. And he's he's more of someone where he's interesting for some of the like idiosyncrasies of his player. And he just seems to have that weird quality, a bit like Pioshik, where even if you think someone else is better than them, they can still just get a win off them somehow quite frankly, by being themselves, playing how they play. So I decided, in light of the fact that I've made a whole bunch of videos, like I made one, obviously, about Deft at that world, if people remember. By the time they made the semis, I made a video about Deft, where it was about the idea of, like, um, it was the end of his career and he'd had amazing longevity. Now, look, that one aged fabulously because I left it open-ended at the end and said, what more have you got to show me death? Well, he then went on to win the semis against Gen G and then win Worlds against T1 and Faker. So that was pretty epic. It made the video seem even cooler, right? Even though I didn't intend that. And spoiler, I did not expect them to beat uh, Gen G in the semis or win against Faker in the final. In fact, I even did that show with Monty where he was in San Francisco for the finals where I even said it should be like 3-0 T1. Like, there's no way DRX is going to win this. So I decided to do it another one. And what I thought would be a cool angle is because Zeka isn't someone I rate, but he won the World Championship, the biggest prize in League of Legends. I thought what would be cool is why not do a video where you take the fact that I am like a low-key hater slash I don't rate him slash I do think he's overrated. Why don't you take all the reasons, which are by the way, totally rational, reasonable angles as to why he won't do any of these things. He won't 
qualify for Worlds. If he makes it to Worlds, he won't get out of his group. If he gets out of his group, he definitely won't beat EDG. If he beats EDG, he's not going to beat fucking Gen G with Chauvy. And if he beats Chauvy and Gen G, look, there's no world where he's going to beat Faker, probably the most born and bred great Korean player of all time with an impossible resume, who a lot of people, by the way, the consensus for people who work for StarCraft Brood War fans is that he's just the greatest player in the history of esports, not even League of Legends, just esports itself, the entire field, greater than everyone. So the idea that this nobody guy playing two champions on a shitter team that wasn't even supposed to be there and is supposed to be like a prison for deft the only truly great player on their team at the time you look at that and you go actually that's a fun angle to play with isn't it because essentially Zika proved me wrong now he didn't my analysis was right but he did prove my predictions wrong and he proved that like luck can happen and manifest in ways you can never imagine so I thought what would be cool is the way I'll give him his props is I'll actually just do it where I'm going to be like the intrusive thoughts in his head telling him just give up man you'll never do this you'll never do that because that's actually the nature of being a competitor if you think about it what happens is you're out there and when you first start it doesn't matter even if you're someone like Messi all those stories of, yeah, I saw him when he was a kid, he was definitely going to win. No, you might have thought he had talent or he could be good. You could never know what was possible, though. So your whole career, because to make it as a sports or an esports star, it's such incredibly tiny, narrow little gaps you've got to fit through of becoming a player who even gets into a semi-pro team, that makes the right moves and gets seen by the right people to get to a better semi-pro team, to eventually make it to the pro level. On the pro level, you have to have teammates that believe in you. You have to have teammates that fit your style. You have to develop in the right way. Every factor tells you it's not going to happen. And I think the one prevailing factor that makes it possible to succeed is the ability to overcome and ignore, or even better, use as fuel those sorts of naysayers, those intrusive thoughts, those people who want to be the little demon and behind you going, you'll never make it, you'll give up now. And the whole point is, I always say this, it's a bit like when upsets happen and I don't want the upset to happen because it was a good team that lost. I'll never blame the team that did the upset. They should try and win. They should believe in themselves. They should battle for everything. It's their life from their perspective. It's absolutely legit legitimate and should be a good thing that they won. I don't like it because I wanted the great team to win or the historical narrative to play out or maybe I wanted a better semi-final or a final because oftentimes, unlike DRX, teams that do upsets then just shit the bed in the next round like Saw did at IM Cologne in CS2 and then it's just a worthless semi-final where it, just, it could have been an all-time great match but it's shit now because a mega underdog got lucky and beat a big team but then can't replicate that because they are an underdog. They're not actually a top team. It's real. By the way, Zika himself, the other thing that's clever about the way I did this is, look, I couldn't know by the time I made this, because I made this before he won LCK. Like, yes, obviously, he made it to the finals this time around, but I'd actually already penned this video last year. I think I penned it in spring of 2023. It's just at the time, we had all that bullshit with our company where it didn't get funded. And so we didn't have loads of video editors. We had like one video editor in the whole company. And I didn't want to use up all his time just making these videos. So I wanted my own dedicated people. And I had a bunch of other things going on. It took me a while to get them. So I finally got them. And now I'm starting to make these pieces. So I thought, you know what? That one was a banger anyway. It's evergreen. It's just about his 2022 run. Let's get it made now. Now, coincidentally, it happened that Hanwha Life made their first final with Zeka, his first ever LCK final. They split. They actually did overcome T1, this time the right way around, not in the upper bracket and then losing the lower. This time they won the lower bracket match and they got to the final. And I'd already recorded this. People will know the week of the finals on whatever it was, I think Wednesday, we did Summoning Insight and I showed Monty a rough cut of this with a few scenes that were different. And I said to him, you can play it at the beginning of the show if you want. So we played it as the opening to Summoning Insight on Twitch. I think we even put it in the actual uh, VOD itself on YouTube. And so that was before they had even, I think they might not have even made the final at that point in time. And so then when they made the final, it was decided not by me, by the people in the company, Last V Nation, that they would schedule this video to go out on the finals day. And they put it on there with like a premiere. And because... It was listed as a premiere and people saw the video was called Give Up Zika. People spiraled out of their mind. Now, look, don't get me wrong. You're going to see a lot of comments who finally get the gag and get the premise and even think it's a brilliant video. But a lot of that, by the way, is how consensus is built and how groupthink works. Like I can tell you right now, 
there's two groups of people who are using consensus thinking. One, well, once the joke's pointed out, and especially once part of pointing the joke out is, you can then say, hey, look at these dom-doms who didn't get the joke. Immediately, whether you actually thought it was a good joke or, or agreed with it anyway, if you just want to get some free righteous indignation and get a dunk off on them or say, isn't everyone else stupid? And therefore, by inference, I'm smart because I get it. There's a bit of that going on. I don't think everyone initially got the premise. But then there's another group that's almost as annoying that we'll get to, which is the people who come in and don't go, well, yeah, it's stupid that people would call this video out or go, brilliant video. They just come in and go, why is everyone just saying no one gets it when we all get it? Because there's a type of wanker on the internet. These are the worst wankers, by the way. Not even just a hater. A hater who can't ever handle you getting a win. So their whole thing is, if you're ever right, it's like, yeah, but just don't go on about it then. Yeah, yeah well, well, maybe you got this one right, but you're wrong last time. And it's like, what is the relevance of that? And so their new thing now is to go, no, well, there's barely anyone even hating on you. It's like, bro, you're actually using the gaslighting that no one hated on me or not enough people hated on me to hate on me now and distract from me doing something cool and not being wrong. You're a wanker. So anyway, when I made this video... I'll have to actually quickly show you initially where all this shite began. It was hilarious because it initially began with some nutter fan online I've never heard of who just spiraled. And then from that, when the video itself came out, oh, there was some glorious comments. So we'll go and look at some of those. This person, whoever the fuck they are, just some shitter G2 and T1 fan, and a fan of owner at that, by the way, a serial inter who has fucking cost himself so many international championships. And then the joke is the one time he played dope at an international tournament was actually EWC. And y'all fuckers just said Faker should win the MVP because you actually hate T1 fans, except for Faker. So inside of Cadrill's The Rats community, this little shit comes along and dares to post this. They take this where it's on the premiere and it says all the stuff here. It's going to premiere in three hours. Oh, they're also French, by the way, as if you needed more reasons to think, fuck this imbecile. So three hours from now, it's going to premiere. And then because in the, in the description, which I didn't write, but this is my some of my words, they put, give up Zika. You got lucky a few times. This is the world championship, Zika. You know it's not meant for you. Now, the giveaway already is in that phrase. It says the world championship, doesn't it? But don't worry, to a dumb fuck, they actually think this video is to be... Read at face value as it's a video encouraging Zika on the day of his first LCK final to give up and that he's not allowed to win and he shouldn't win and he should just quit. That's how mentally ill people who have foreign derangement syndrome are. They don't even grant me the notion I wouldn't make a video going, fuck you, and then just hate on a player and then send a message to them through the... It's such a fucking absurd notion. Have you never noticed how these people are so mentally weak, emotionally broken, broken and spiritually bereft that they have to actually create fantasy enemies that don't exist and never existed as some sort of shitty windmill to tilt against because that's the only way they can seem right or cool or like they have a purpose in their life. So this dickhead puts this message, they go, Thurin challenge, you already know it's going to be absolute shite when a Gen Alpha French dickhead fan of owner attempts to do a meme format of like, challenge, challenge failed. So let's see where they go. They go, Thurin challenge, don't collect the biggest amount of L's in eSport history. Impossible level. So let's see how I'm collecting an L by making this, okay? They put, posting it here before it gets deleted because this person so fucking unwell they think that because they've nailed that this is a video of a hate video that when everyone in the community realizes i'm a hater and even worse if hanwa wins then obviously because hanwa won i was wrong lol and there was another thing that's where some of the conspiracy theories are going to come from get ready because once they find out they're wrong categorically they just start going off into narnia in their minds and just coming up with the craziest tinfoil conspiracies that have zero factual basis like the notion you'll get to it soon that i had two videos and one was give up zika but we fucked up and maybe accidentally set that live and one was like congrats zika for winning lck and actually what i was going to do was when he 
when I because I obviously expected Gen G to win, everyone did. Now that actually Zika did win, we're gonna quickly take that one away and replace it with this other video that never existed ever. And I wrote this in 2023 and I fucking premiered it on stream earlier in the week, you cretin. I even explained on Summoning Insight the premise of the video, like I did just at the beginning now, and why it was made and what the thinking was behind it. But don't worry, to a moron, since everything was taking place in their mind anyway, not in reality, that's where they just start constructing the next mind palace full of shite rooms of things I never did or said. So this moron goes, it saves premieres in three hours. Because obviously, the guy who set it to go, I think it was actually set to premiere after the final, by the way, because it was relevant to someone who played in the final, but it wasn't about the final. In fact, you know, the giveaways, the giveaways in the fucking text on the screen you posted. It says, this is the world championship, Zika. You know it's not meant for you. It's about him at the world championship. But no, no, to a dumb fuck, this is either about the upcoming world championship. Like, just give up already. Just give up. I hit send. As though that's what I do in my career. That's so pathetic you would ever straw man someone like me that way. Or act like that's something I've ever done in my entire career. It's utterly pathetic. They're the pathetic ones. The sad thing is, they project how pathetic they are because they think, well, I'm better than Darren, so to be better than him, he must be way more pathetic than me. And this is how shit they have to make me as a straw man to even think they can come off with a W, as they say. So he puts that shite there. Here's what's good. He goes, edit. I think Thorin's video is about to be a banger and a prediction of them winning. And then he goes, my bad on this one, chat. No, no, there's no my bad. You just said in a group chat full of K-Drill fans, so massive group chat, that I am collecting the most L's in history and that I am going to delete the video. Well, one, I didn't delete the video. Two, it's not an L. It's a fucking banger W. It's actually probably the sickest but most authentic way someone could celebrate Zika's championship unless they were a diehard Zika fan, which I don't think exists, by the way, except for his fucking mum. And even then, the joke is she probably prefers Chauvy. <laughs> And then, oh, obviously, I was never going to delete it, was I? So as usual, a moron, this is why they're morons, will never understand they're a moron or go, oh, I'll reflect on the fact that I was a bit of a moron there and level up so I'm not a moron. That's why they remain morons. Oh, yeah, don't worry. All the other comments are just shite as well. This idiot, Darren, is walking definition of I'm right and I don't care if I'm wrong. Get ready for where it goes when they prove to be wrong. When they go, oh, apologies. Oh, I guess you get the job. You thought, no, no, they just got my bad on this one, chat. My bad on this one. Have you never noticed how it's like, you're a racist, a piece of shit, you should be killed and put in prison. And then you go, uh, you were completely factually wrong. Oh, okay. My bad, I guess. It's like, no, no, there's no, you don't get to like bring the tent, all the fucking drama down and all the energy down and just go, well, whatever, you know. Sometimes people are wrong. What can happen? Hey, I make mistakes, mate. But then when I make a comment that you misinterpret, I'm the biggest piece of shit of all time. And I should get like a thousand out of a thousand level intensity fucked by everyone on the internet. And the whole internet should laugh in my face and then I'm going to delete the video, aren't I? But I didn't. Did I delete the video? No, I didn't. Then he goes, this person actually tries to help. They say, I'm hyping up the run. Here's a good one. Thorin will keep this video up. Oh, you're right, because it was already created before the final, you dumb fuck. And go, and I will then say, get ready for how mentally broken this is, by the way. Oh, by the way, let me just show you something. See this person talking shit about me? Let's look at their face. Oh, are they a fat little mess who met medic once? Look at that fucking face. Look at that face. That is the face of the guy who calls you the N-word in a card lobby 10 years ago. That is in insane. That is the guy who knows every single Post Malone and Lil Baby lyric. <laughs> that is a fucking face and a half. And here we are. We got the biggest and it's coming out of European League of Legends. There you go. I'll give you your own medic type moment, didn't I? So this actual twat has the audacity to go... Thorin will keep this video up and say, um, actually, I'm still right, and Zika is no good. Right, guys? Guys? Yeah, because the video was about how Zika's no good. You've actually missed the point, dumb fuck. It's actually a video where I actually let Zika beat me. 
I, because I did think and say these things, I take the position of being the voice of all the critics against Zika, and I then show on fucking screen via the editor the actual footage of him proving me wrong at every single step until he wins, checks notes, the most important tournament in the history of the co- of the game he plays professionally. But no, no, even though I'm giving Zika every W, I take the L. I mean, I actually spiritually do take the L on that video. It was the kind of joke of it, wasn't it? But no, no, I'm pretty Attending, and the whole theme of the video is that I was right. Zika just sucks, I don't know, dick in this case, I guess. And fuck Zika. By the way, half of these comments are sight unseen. They haven't even watched the video. They haven't watched the video yet, but from the title, they know what the video says. So now that they know what the video says, that becomes block one of a moron pyramid. And then from knowing what the video says, which is that I definitely say Zika's shit was always shit and he should give up in all regards. We can only interpret media, literally. From that basis, then we'll build a bunch of timelines where I'm going to delete the video because I, I actually did win. Uh, I'm going to delete the video because of their response. Their response specifically going, you're working hell. You're still working hell. And then in that scenario, but they're a bit ableist there. What about disabled people? Can't they take L's? Hmm. Some would say God says yes. Straight fire. So um, there's that whole angle. And then they just keep going. So get ready. Did they ever back down? The best they back down is, my ah, bad. Guess I got this one wrong. No, no, you don't get it wrong. You took a massive L, dude. You took the biggest L's in the world. The greatest. Don't, don't post things in Cadrill's group chat and take L's. Challenge, impossible for me. Impossible for me. Oh, no, so suddenly that energy's just gone. Keep that same motherfucking energy, you little rat. You little rat. So then this moron. Tharing cart. Oh, they've got me. They've got me. This person even actually probably watched some insights so they know that it wasn't even about that. All he does is collecting L's. No, I mean, this is a massive W, isn't it? Dorian doesn't actually know, actually doesn't know shit about Lee. Widow's was just be able to make a fabulous video properly narratively contextualizing the surprise champion of a League of Legends World Championship. It's weird, I don't know anything. Get ready for this. He just gets his info from Reddit, right? The dumbest source of information and consensus opinions on the whole internet for League of Legends. Reddit. That's actually secretly where I get all my takes, even though, checks notes, Reddit thinks I'm wrong about everything like this and says I know nothing. Oh, and Reddit is full of 99% gold players who know nothing objectively about League of Legends or esports history. I know every great player in history, talked to a bazillion of them for 10 plus years. Oh yeah, my best mate was only one of the greatest minds in the history of the game. Then one of my other mates is also one of the greatest thinkers of all time. Then I know streamers like Dom and he might give me a fucking break, but no, no, I know nothing at all. Here's another good one. LMFAO, I respect the balls to do something like this. Yeah, you haven't even watched the video, but I obviously made a video hit on Zika. But once again, once again, so if it turns out this wasn't once again, you'll walk that back and apologize, right? Once again, Don should stick to CS, right? Well, by that logic, you should stick to never posting on the internet. You've utterly failed at posting or knowing what you're talking about. So don't ever attempt to know what you're talking about, ever express an opinion or ever post anything. Oh, does it not work? Do you not, do I not get to dictate to you? Do you get to go, stick to CS, stick, I wasn't even from CS, you moron. I came from Quake, I spent a bazillion hours in StarCraft, I came to Counter-Strike and owned that game, and then in League, at this point in time, do you know what, I'm just going to say, I've been doing League of Legends since 2012, I own League of Legends too, you bitch-made motherfucker. The idea, because I don't say I worship the game and play it every day, I have to always be an outsider who never has any place in League of Legends after doing thousands of pieces of content. Get the fuck out of my face. I bet I've been in league and much more top level league than you I know I've talked to more top pro players and had a bazillion great conversations fuck you I am league of legends you're the fucking tourist get the fuck out of my face you dunce 20 year old a fucking 20 year old is gonna tell me to stick to CS you're 20 now you dickhead that means when I began in 2012 how many years old would that make you Oh, wait, you were eight years old. But no, when you were eight years old, you obviously were playing in Platinum on EU West and were watching all the Alex Itch and Froggen matchups and going, see, I understand the way that um, Carthus against uh, Kazakhs works, but Thorin doesn't understand the game. Oh, excuse me, mother, can I have some 
Football Lunchables. Fuck you. You weren't even around the game. But no, no, I'll bet once you got to, let's just say, 18, two years ago, I'll bet somehow magically in two years of being around league, you were able to just compress the entire history of every major region and the game's knowledge of every patch and the whole historical like context of the scene in about two years you just marathoned it all I guess you just like went onto that fucking planet except like you, you went to some like opposite planet of interstellar where actually time moved slower and you just watched all of esports history because I know nothing it should stick to CS and he goes and complaining about Riot not letting them host tournaments right are you ready guys the reason Monte Cristo, whose company was stolen from him and he was forced to sell at terrible terms on the basis of zero evidence he had ever done anything legally or even against Riot's rules, when we actually hit on Riot, that's not because they sexually harassed thousands of women and had to pay $100 million. That's not because they made a million corrupt rulings. They're just making corrupt rulings right now about emergency substitutes. It's not because they took Monty's company or fucked over loads of my friends. No, no, it's not because they let Danny get destroyed by evil geniuses even though I'm not from League originally, I have to come in and save everyone's ass for that. It's not because of any of that. The reason why me and Monty don't like Riot and complain about them is because they check notes, don't let us host League of Legends tournaments. Spoiler, I've never tried to host a League of Legends tournament. I don't give a fuck about hosting a League of Legends tournament. This is so fucking insane that this imaginary straw man exists because you're a dumb, dumb 20-year-old nobody who never knew about esports or league. So you don't even know what we're mad about. But you're going to get mad about it yourself, you fucking dunce. He will just wait till Zika have a bad split and he will say he was right. Class, I was right. The premise of the video still holds, you cretins. You haven't even watched it. Please stop posting this bomb bro says a guy with no profile picture, 26 followers, and his name is Michael69071733. <laughs> bro, the joke is you may as well be a bot, except that would actually require some like computer cycles to run the script. Your brain probably requires less. You probably just eat some dead crickets off the ground or something. Then it goes... Why are we eager to hit for zero? So not even Zika, it's maybe autocorrected. But why are we hating on Zika? We're not. If you watch the video, best part is someone had even down here before these on the September 9th posted the thing about the video and about the whole thing. But no, no, no. So that's where it began in Cajal's little community. Oh, don't worry. After the shite, which was only later edited. Oh yeah, don't worry, he got 1.1 thousand likes for this shite that was never factually correct and could always, by the way, have been checked on the Summoning Insight episode if you had any clue about what you were talking about. But no, no, even though you don't watch Summoning Insight or follow my content, you also simultaneously know everything I think, how I think, and all the else I'm collecting. Well, which is it? It's like in Counter-Strike where liars go, I always mute the analyst desk. But then bizarrely, they have a photographic memory of everything I ever said on the analyst desk that they didn't like. How did you hear me, dude? You had it muted. Oh, you're like the liar in League or CS who goes, muted, and then starts typing later on in the chat. And you go, well, how did you see what I just said if you're muted? Because you're an ob objectionable, narcissistic liar who has to pretend you muted me. So let's see where this goes, shall we? Because don't worry, that's just the opening salvo. So now we go into the comment section. Now, as you can imagine... Since this was two weeks ago, enough people have got it now that a lot of the comments are really good. But we'll go and find some shite ones and then we'll get into some Reddit about it too because don't worry, it doesn't end. Get ready for all the crazy fucking mad rationalizations as to why I'm still wrong or a piece of shit or I copied someone else's video even, or I'm going to delete it, or I secretly added another one. It'll never just be that I was right, or it was a good video, or they were wrong. You can never have any of those options in the buffet, okay? So let's get into this. So we go down to here. Obviously, some nice ones up here. Nice ones up here. Keep going down. You're obviously going to have to scroll past all the good ones. I mean, these comments are basically agreeing with me. Like, yeah, I did agree. What's funny is I obviously don't like Zika. I'm not a fan of his. I'm not a fan of two-dimensional players. Well, I said two-dimensional. Yeah, two chapters. One-dimensional players that can't play fucking mages mid lane, for God's sake, and do massive flukes and ruin narratives. So obviously, all these comments are great. All good. But as we scroll down, there's some good ones. Right, or even this one already starts to get a bit mental with the guy with the JWT. He goes, I mean, come on, guys. I know that it's Thorin and it's something he could perfectly mean. But like, it's obviously sarcasm for effect, for fuck's sake. 
It's not sarcasm. It is what I meant. But I obviously didn't make the video. And I, even the implication I would make a video, just telling someone, just give up. You'll never make it. You're a fucking bum. Just quit the game. That, that goes so against everything my thousands and thousands of hours of work have shown about my philosophy about competition and excellence and how you should think about yourself. It's such an insulting, obnoxious framing of who I am as a person. It's pathetic. So if you go down, it's going to get good in a second. Don't worry. I love this one. First time I heard him being called Zika, and I want it to be the last time, right? So you just admit you never watched the LPL. Cool. That's a bit embarrassing because to really know Zika's career, you'd have to have seen him play in the LPL, wouldn't you? You don't, but let, go ahead and tell me as though I just invented how to say it. Tell you what, when I call the ADC Uzi I, do you want to tell me that's not his name and his name's Uzi and that I don't even know LPL, even though I call him Uzi I because I watched thousands of Chinese people say Uzi I. Now they say like Uzi I because they don't speak fucking English and don't use our letters, but that's their version of saying it basically. It's just because Corby, the commentator, said to him, do we call you Uzi or Uzi I? And he thought, well, fuck it, Uzi's an American gun. Isn't it? Just say Uzi, mate. That's all good. So here we go. Even this person who hates on me goes, I might not be the biggest star and enjoyer, but damn, did this age well and fast. Because the point is, it could never have aged badly. It's about a tournament he already won, and I frame it correctly so that he gets to win in the narrative and the video and in real life, for fuck's sake. So we'll go down, keep going down. Obviously, someone points out the Joe case. I did do one about death before this, and then he went on to win, and then now Zika's won LCK. So it's like the timing. I keep doing these videos right around the time that they then go and win unexpected championships, don't I? Let's keep going down, blah, 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 blah. Keep going down. Why he says Zika instead of Zika? I just explained that, mate. I just explained that to you. Right, get ready. Get ready. Already we're in with the morons. Now that Zika won an LCK, this video should be interesting. Because <laughs> they're still doing the thing where because their brain saw the words give up Zika and he was in a final, they didn't think he should win. When he wins, that proves that I was wrong, that I said he should give up, even though that's obviously supposed to be something to be juxtaposed against him winning in a different tournament. The message of the video wasn't actually to give up, was it, you dunce? If anything, the theme of the video at the end is... You keep going in spite of people saying to give up because they don't know you and they don't know what's possible or what can happen in life. The entire message of the video is don't give up. But to a dum-dum, let's just, let's read titles and tell everyone what the book's about. You know that stupid thing like you can't judge a book by its cover? This is worse. These have seen the cover and the title of the book. They're showing up to either a book club where we're reading chapter seven of the book or a lecture by the author and going, um, here's what I think about what the book was about and the themes actually in chapter seven. But they never read the book. They just looked at the cover and the fucking title. What an obnoxious waste of everyone's time that would be. And what a prick that would make that person to have the gall to occupy everyone's time selfishly with utterly worthless info that gives no value to a conversation. It's not even interesting to them for fuck's sake and by the way that comment got 26 posts because that was right at the beginning so that was where haters jumped on that and gave it the 26 so let's keep going here's a good one it makes sense that people take it literally no no it doesn't make sense for people to wig out to the reaction to the title of video because if you watch the video and you still don't get it and think I'm hating on him you have failed an IQ test and you should actually have a fund from the government that pays your parents or whoever cares for you as if they literally were looking after someone with special needs that that's what is necessary for you because you can't interpret a simple video. I mean, I'm sure it on fucking screen for God's sake and beating all the people. And eventually he has a motherfucking world's ring on. But yeah, it was a video to tell him. Yeah, you know, you just won worlds, mate, and beat Faker and uh, Chovy and Scout in all those best of fives. You'll never do it. So I'm just quit. In fact, give up now, even though you've already won world championship because you'll never win that one. And you'll never win in the future either. Even the one on screen, I'm showing you winning. You'll never win it, mate. Like by their logic, this dunce must actually think I submitted a hate video and then my like video editor was like secretly based Zika fan and he got back at me by making me look stupid with all the things he showed on the screen it's not even plausible is it it's not even vaguely fucking plausible it's like that one where Don pointed out that like Doublelift's editor kept showing all clips on screen that just made Doublelift look like an absolute fucking imbecile like that might actually be true because fuck Doublelift he's Doublelift he might not be able to figure it out so let's keep going down let's go down Here's a good one. This is another this is another take that once it was said once, every dickhead jumped on this all over the internet. They go, this is a copy of the Perks video. The Perks video. 
Was it a copy of the Perks video? What they mean is, there's a video Perks made, so there's all that, like, a casual fan of leagues going, oh, was this one, do you remember? It was called Watch Me, and it was a G2 video for 2019. It was the one where, watch, I'll show you the, the beginning part. You'll never stand out, and you'll never be good enough. Okay. So it was Vedius doing the narration, and he's doing the thing, like, you'll never make it, you'll never stand out. Now, what, what was my video like again? Let's go look at the beginning again. Give up, Seeker. You won't make the grade back in the LCK. You won't make it to playoffs. Even if you do. Right, thematically, there are similarities. You could draw a correlation. But the problem is, already, the Perks one is very vague. It's just like, give up, you won't make it, and you won't make great play. It's just a really vague one of what a hater might say. Mine is incredibly pointed. After the first sentence about making the grid, I immediately start doing stuff like, because he was in the LPL and no one actually wanted him in the LCK, I'm like, you won't make it in the LTK. If you do, you won't make it to the fucking, uh, to the regional. If you do, you definitely won't make worlds. If you, I make it super specific. The Perks one was generalized. So already it doesn't quite seem the same. And by the way, are you ready? I had seen this Perks one years and years and years earlier, but this wasn't what I based it on. I think mine was distinct enough, uh, separate from that. And then are you ready for the ultimate laugh of all time? This is where I'm going to use history an understanding context to destroy their attempt to beat me with history and context. So they're saying, you just can't read the Perks video. First of all, it's not even, not even like the Perks video. It's, by the way, I'll just say it right now. It's way better than the Perks video in both regards. But you know the dumbest thing is? Do you think G2 was some revolutionary geniuses who innovated everything? The Perks video itself was almost entirely copied off a very similar video about Messi years earlier. So let's go look at the date, shall we? So this video was made... October 2019. Now, this video with Lionel Messi, let's just watch the beginning of this, shall we? You'll never be good enough or big enough. You'll never make it with the big boys in the big league. Wait a minute. That's the same as the Perks video. Mine was distinctly different enough, but similar. That's almost identical to the Perks video. So what you mean is G2 and the Perks video was done when? In March of 2015. Over four years before the Perks video. So what you're actually doing is betraying you don't even know the history of this type of video. And actually, you can go back and you can show that Perks's video was the one that was copied. It was quite clearly copied slash it was an homage to and took inspiration from the Lionel Messi video in 2015. And by the way, around the same year, there was also one that they did for Nike with Kobe Bryant, where it was like all the haters saying things from the crowd. You saw that and he was listening like, it's a bit different, but it was a similar thing. It was like, let's take haters and like, we don't let them put us down. In fact, we use it as fuel to overcome and transcend and be the greatest of all time. It's already absolute bollocks. Like his only angle is, because this is like vaguely similar, but in all the content, completely different from a Perks video. This is basically the Perks video. Right, can you see how if you'd seen the Perks video, my video would still have value? In fact, I do argue it has more value and it's a better version of what the Perks video tried to do. Hmm, interesting how that works. Funny how history and actually know what you're talking about will always just bitch slap a moron who doesn't know what they're talking about. Hmm, weird how that works, isn't it? And then there's all these great ones at the bottom. So... Let's go down. Same one. Poor imitation of G2's Watch Me piece. Why the fuck would you have Thorin do the voiceover? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, guys. So a company that isn't funded. So the only money this company makes is some sponsorship, which we could just put in our pockets because we did the work. And by the way, our day rates to do this content for other people would be enormous. But instead, we take that money and reinvest the majority of it to do things like run the company, pay for the hosting, pay for this editor, etc. We reinvest that money. And then after that, I should take even more of the company's money and just hire a different person to do the voiceover, even though... I wouldn't say I have an amazing voice. I'm not like one of those movie trailer guys who are very expensive, by the way. You pay them by the line or by the hour. But also, one, I have a very iconic voice. And two, since I wrote it, I'm going to say right now, I nailed the way I read this. I am so good because I've done so much on-camera work and I've been an analyst myself and I've done these trailers before. Because I write the script... I, when I narrate it, can hit the proper inflection points. I can put the emphasis in the right place. I can land on the right word. I can pause at the right moment to give it the right feeling. Someone else might fuck that up when they were doing the reading, even if they had a better voice than me. But no, no, because you don't like me, why the fuck would Thorin ever do the voiceover of his own video he wrote?
Yeah, fuck me. Let's just find anything to complain about. So you can't complain about the theme. You can't complain about the title. You can't complain about the content. Just complain about the voice now. Then this moron goes, it's like a cup of milk in the sun. This can only improve in how it ages because it was about a tournament that I'm talking about where I correctly characterize him winning the tournament and he already won the tournament. Nothing can ever happen in history to make this video age badly. What ages badly are your dog shit comments, you cretin. Another one, this aged so good. The timing, Keck W. Have you noticed how 99% of uses of Keck W, the person is a brain dead imbecile? Like if someone told you, sir, sir, there are massive casualties in a war on the other side of the world, you'd go, oh, that's terrible. The human life lost. It's okay, sir. They were all people who posted Keck W and XD about everything on the internet. You'd go, well, you know, got to crack a few eggs to make an omelet. Yeah, you know. There's bigger problems in the world, isn't there? That's it. What? I really thought this is going to be a longer video that praises Zika. Right. A player I don't even like and think one world as a fluke. I only made a one minute, 45 second long prestige video that could last forever. That looks fantastic. Correctly analyzing and giving him props for winning one tournament. But no, no, I guess a Zika video should be 10 minutes long because now the fault is it's too good, but it's short. I fucked up again. Every time something happens to a moron, I fucked up again. This guy even says, you missed the point. He goes, what I missed is a longer video. Since this was shown as a preview, it wasn't. It was shown as a preview in the sense that it was not the final version. There were a couple of shots different. Nobody ever said, this is a trailer for a long-form piece about Zika. By the way, how many pieces did Riot make about Zika, you twat? They have fucking billions of dollars. I'm just a guy with a company that doesn't get pay me a salary. What's the point in premiering a sub two minutes video that was already shown before? It isn't the video that was shown before. It is a slightly different one that had never fully been released. I didn't even tell them to put it in the actual VOD on YouTube of somebody inside. I thought that was only going to go on Twitch. But as usual, you know everything, Pando, not the people who made the video. This video was played at the beginning of SI. Then Thorin said that's a preview, which doesn't mean a shorter version. Notice he's taking the concept of an American trailer that they sometimes call a preview and now demanding that's what I have used that word for. Add to that, I also never planned to put it online before it came out officially like this. Add to that, this video here had the premiere countdown. Right, how fucking dare we give you a free video and, and a more edited version with slightly different scenes and then dare to put premiere? Not just to instantly release it. No, no, what's important is, and are you ready for the ultimate get gotcha for dumb fucks who complain about premieres? Do you know how the majority of people and me do premieres online what you do is if you plan to release the video because youtube's all about the hour you release the video and to hit your audience let's say my audience would like to watch the vod at 6 p.m and this is a two minute video well then assuming you can only do 15 minute increments i would premiere the video at 5 45 p.m so it would have played and then the vod itself would almost hit the timing. in this case it'd be off by 13 minutes it would hit the timing of being online when i want the vod to be online anyway now do you understand what i hinted at there if you're not a moron you were never going to to get the video any earlier whether I premiered it or not. Secondly, you can only watch the video, I doubt anyone's fast forwarding through a two minute video, in real time anyway. So even if I released it at 6 instead of 5.45, have you really gained anything? So no, no, what we're actually complaining about now is that I have given a false bill of goods, I have false advertised and lied that I am creating a massive video but since they've already seen the video I'm now a piece of shit for using YouTube features, which by the way we have already in this video proven the efficacy of to get the word out there to make people come in advance and get ready and queue and wait and watch that video in a way that if it's just a video on the algorithm they might never see it but no no fuck me for making a good video that wasn't long enough and daring to call it a preview and then how dare i press premiere and try and make money off it how fucking dare i i should just talk like one of those japanese gangsters i should come in apologize to this guy and then chop off my little fingers as a, as a token of respect and how i have fucked up and will never do it again Fuck, these are the people, by the way, I'm supposed to pretend I'm doing this shit for, or supposed to be grateful to because they clicked the video and I got like a, a one one hundredth of a cent because they did that. Go fuck yourself, you rat. I actually think this is a banger comment. He goes, the only thing I don't like is they're acting like they aren't the ones who are saying this. Ah, this is so impossibly dumb. It's mental. 
Right, guys, again, for all the smart people watching, when I make this video where I could choose whatever I wanted to say, I could even lie and just say I always believed in Zika, but other people didn't. No, no, instead, I use words that, yes, I chose to voice because I was someone who believed these things and said them. So I chose myself to make myself essentially the actor who plays the dickhead in the movie. And then I get my editor to show me being wrong again and again and again and again. And at the end, even though I actually still think it's a fluke, this guy won and wish he hadn't won. I give him his ultimate props in a prestige video on the internet that will live forever and doesn't in any way mock him. And by doing that, that's me pretending I never said or thought any of those things. Oh, wait, did that not happen in the video you saw? No, no, that happened in a lunatic's mind, didn't it? Yeah. Shout out to Light and Pizcan, who... Pizcan gave out six community subs and Light resubscribed. Let's keep going down. Let's get to some of the conspiracy. Again, why are you saying Zika? There's a different pro that also goes by Zika, so it's even worse. All right, here's a cool question for you. Let me just look this up a second for you. I always like to do the research, let you guys know what you're talking about. Because you definitely know what you're talking about. We all know you know what you're talking about. Listen, you, oh, obviously you know what you're talking about, don't you? Why would you not know what you're talking about? Bloody hell, obviously you know what you're talking about, right? So everyone knows the player Zika, right? Because when I made this video in 2024, he was just on LNG last year, right? And he was really good in the summer playoffs and people hyped LNG at Worlds as a result, but they only made it top eight because T1 beat them. Now, he just had a big glow up in summer. He looked awesome in the regional. He's actually fucking carrying again. He's a big reason why LNG he has a chance if Scout goes to actually do well at this world. Right, when was this guy playing in the LPL? Right, are you ready? He was actually a sub on BLG in 2021. Then he got onto IG in 2022, but that was a shit at IG. Then he's on LNG from 2022 onwards. Now, the reason I bring that up, boys, is this. If I go to BLG Gaming here and I go to 2022, 2021, Oh, the other Zika was playing for them that year. He was just a sub. So you mean when this person called Zika, the mid laner I made the video about, played in the LPL, he played for the team, Billy Billy Gaming. You didn't even know that a lot of people watching the video right now, unless you heard him mention it. You still didn't know it, even though he's won Worlds and LCK. So this guy was playing for that team. The other Zika was a sub for that team, not even necessarily playing. And so as a result, there was never any confusion, which is probably why when I watched the English broadcast of the LPL this year, they called him Zika, the mid laner. They didn't say Zika. If anything, you'd say Zika about the top laner. Zika, absolutely, totally fine to write it that way, isn't it? Totally legit to say that. Now, the idea you have to say Zeka, that's just a different thing later on, isn't it? I've never heard that as a rule. Also, by the way, before you do the whole thing, why not say it the way a Korean would say it? Because the Koreans can't say the word Z, you fucking clown. They say Z. So they, they would have said Jika. In the same way as they don't say crazy, they say crazy. I know I lived there. I had a Korean girlfriend. They can't say that sound. They don't have the letter Z. So they would say Jika. So do you call him Jika? No, you don't, do you? You call him Zeka, you fucking This is never how they would have said it. And because the other Zika wasn't relevant at the time when he got that name and was called that, it would never have been confused. And then secondly, I'll just throw this out there. They don't even play the same role. And after Zika, the mid laner, left this team, they have never played the same role or for the same team. So the whole time after he went back to LCK, Zika, the mid laner, was in LCK. Zika, the top laner, was in LPL. So already no confusion there. Then they were never playing against each other. No confusion there. Then let's throw out that they play different roles. So no confusion there when I talk about Zika on a Renekton versus Zika on fucking uh, Silas or something, right? You're never going to get confused there. What are we even complaining about? We're just finding any reason to complain and say I'm wrong. That's how much people have Thorin Derangement Syndrome. That when I'm right or I do something good, there has to still be something you can complain about. Even if you love the video and think it's totally on point, now you've got to complain about how long the video was, the fact that it wasn't a preview, the fact that it was premiered. At the end of the day, why not just say complain that I breathe air? Just complain about that, mate. Just go to that next. So then, here we go. Conspiracy theories coming out. If Zika had, if Zika won or lost, a video of Zika with the same title would have came out. This fucking English is a nightmare. 
Instead, it would hate on Zika instead of showing this side. Way to farm, lol. Except I already went back in time like the movie Tenet to do a pincer move temporarily to beat you by... Because no I saw this comment, I got in a time machine with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He went back to the 80s. I went back earlier the same week and had it played on Summoning Insight and even told Monty it's about the 2022 world run and I wrote it in 2023 just to actually temporarily make you look like an utter twat who doesn't know what they're talking about. No, no. Even though nothing about this video suggests, like, first of all, remember, he at least acknowledges I'm right, right? But this is what's funny. Do you know the other people who were like, you'll probably delete this now because you were wrong and because Zika actually won and Gen G didn't win because they didn't know what the video was about. He's seen the video, but now that he's seen the video and he's even sort of acknowledging it's good because I'm right. So instead, his logic is I had two videos. And what would have happened is if instead Zika had actually lost the finals, there would have been a video like this that didn't have him win Worlds, even though that's about 2022, not LCK, and it would have actually made fun of him and showed him the shit. That way I would have made farm and farm detention and hits and, and clout of him winning or losing. There was secretly a second video the whole time. Now, do you know what that's based on? Literally nothing. A fantasy in a lunatic's mind online that is motivated by the idea I cannot ever be right or a person of integrity, even though factually, historically, they were absolutely dead wrong before they ever hit send on this comment. Here's another good one. This is hilarious considering this morning's performance. If anything, what's hilarious is that somehow I waited a year and a half from when he won his one other tournament with his one other really big run with a wacky lineup and somehow nailed it like some insane prescience to have this released the same week he won his second big championship against impossible odds. First one was against Faker. This one was against Chovy. Every time not supposed to win. If anything, it's hilarious how on point my fucking videos end up being accidentally. But no, no, three people, oh, it's hilarious considering how he performed today. Hilarious. Are you ready? This guy's a moron. Because when the person tells him he's wrong, does he back down? He goes, this guy goes, as is your comment, completely missing the point of the video. Since you can't figure out yourself, this video is about overcoming adversities and proving doubt was wrong. Oh, one person's nailed it. Moron goes, I know it was Thorin's way of making a joke, right? So this guy just explained this video is about overcoming adversities and proving doubt is wrong. And he goes, yes, I know. This is Thorin making a joke. Well, it's not a joke. There's no joke involved in the video. Do you know that? He goes, that's why it's hilarious that if anyone was saying that about Zika before, that morning's performance should shut them up. No, no, no. You've missed the whole point again. It wasn't, by the way, that we were wrong about Zika. What happened is the least likely outcome happened. But if Zika had given up, he would have never got that outcome, would he? So if he'd have listened to us... In terms of like spiritually, in terms of like analytically, we were correct. He, he wouldn't make it. And if it was me and I wasn't his friend, I, would, I wouldn't even fucking bother if I'm him. But I'm not him. And he should try because he's him and he has to care about his life and his outcome. You also have just proven by actually, in this case, cross-examination, you don't know what the video is about. And so since his performance was awesome in the finals of LCK, that should shut up. Presumably us and everyone who said Zeke was never that good. I mean, it doesn't. Do you know why? He got a lot better this summer. Also, by the way, the meta slapped him right in his fucking face. There's a good one. Nice title and description, Nostradamus. Right, Nostradamus was a man who wrote in his own like half-invented language quatrains where he used apocalyptic visions of the future to predict what would happen through a spiritual dimension channeled through the human imagination. Now, the key there is he was predicting, wasn't he? He was seeing something that could one day be and he was projecting it out and then trying to explain it to the world or his little group of underground alchemists in this whatever medieval period. Now, me correctly framing a historical video about something that had already happened, in this case, a year and a half earlier, has already happened, definitely happens, and therefore I know the result and how to frame it is not at all like me being Nostradamus, but that's because you're a moron who saw the title and the description and made a comment on the internet about it, and then did five laughing, crying emojis. I like this one, by the way. Because Chovy lost that final, I don't even think he played bad, by the way, that makes him Chokvi, and he can't be the Bonjo, even though Bonjo would be about being an individual player, not team success, because uh, Zeka won the final, so that means he's not the Bond. Here's a good one. Thorin, how does it feel to know that Zeka has a better career than Rookie and he barely started? Right, let's take note. So Zeka, who won LCK and he won 
uh, Worlds has a better career than rookie. That's a, that's a statement of fact. He's Look, it's an opinion, but it's based on facts, right? Now, if you don't know, I'll just run down again his whole resume. He has a Worlds title and an LCK title. Now, let's quickly run down rookies. So, rookie has won LCK when it was Orgian champions in one of the hardest splits ever. So, he's already matched the domestic accomplishments of uh, Zika. He's already matched them. And that was in his rookie year, I believe, by the way. Ironically. Then he won Worlds himself, one of the most competitive Worlds in season eight. So he's already matched what Zeke has done. If he does anything else in his career, it's over and Rookie has a way better career, right? So then let's add in that Rookie won the LPL. Oh shit, now I've got to three. He's already got a, bit, a more tournament wins. And then you know what? Rookie also was the MVP of the LPL multiple times. Do you know that? Look, we'll go look it up. By the way, how many times was there Zika who played in the LPL and was nobody when Rookie was there, then went to the LCK, still hasn't oh, hasn't actually done much more than Rookie ever did in the LCK, but no, no. Oh, and by the way, let's go look here. Let's look how many MVPs we're talking about here. Just the four-time MVP of one of the hardest leagues in the world. Pro team first, just three times, boys. In total, oh, don't worry, he was only on the All-Pro team eight times, including this fucking year, six years after he won World. Well, five years or something in that case. And many, many, like 10 years after he won OGN. But no, no, that's just his resume. By the way, I test, it's absurd to even suggest that. Like, I test, Rookie is the best player to ever play League of Legends. Zika isn't even a top 10 mid laner to play League of Legends. Do you see the distinction there? So a little... Who knows nothing, just comes in and talks absolute shite. Let's see if he replies to anything. Oh, he does. Here's a good one. This guy goes, better career is not the same. By the way, this guy's wrong. He didn't have a better career. You're just a dunce. He goes, My by the way, here's the other thing. The best player on IG, I don't care what they said about Ning, was actually rookie. He should have won finals MVP. Now, who was the finals MVP? Wasn't it Kingen? For body and... Was it actually Kingen? Let's see. Yes, he was. The top player, who I think is even worse than Zika, won fucking finals MVP. So you're wrong on every single level and the eye test. So, by the way, all he's doing is that moron thing like, lol, hey, cold zero, two majors, simple zero, when simple hadn't won one, but his eye test told he was the greatest player of all time. All this guy's doing is basically say, like, I'll do the same thing then. By his logic, I'll take any player he likes. Let's say he likes, um, we'll pick someone who hasn't won Worlds yet. Let's say he likes Chauvy, right? He doesn't, obviously. But let's say he likes Chauvy. Now, Chauvy is a way better player than Toys from Taipei Assassins. But Taipei Assassins, Toys has won Worlds. So if you think only Worlds counts, then uh, Toys had a better career than Chauvy. Lol, how does that make you feel? How does, the, how does it make you feel gives away this guy's whole psychology? It's not actually about making an interesting point about Zika or he's a Zika fan. It's about him knowing I think Rookie's really good. So because he's a mentally ill stan who has a parasocial relationship, presumably with Zika now, he has to go... <laughs> This makes me feel bad to know that you're pointing out Zika won as a fluke. So you like Rookie, do you? <laughs> what do you think about Rookie? How would it make you feel to know Rookie sucks dirty dicks? <laughs> Got him. That's what, that's what this loser's thinking he's doing, mate. That's what he thinks he's doing. Are you ready? He goes, better career is not the same as better player. This moron goes, he's a way better player too. Do you want to know something mental? In the summer split, I'll actually give you it that Zika actually probably did play better than Rookie did in LPL summer. But I just showed you earlier that Rookie was actually like second team all pro in the LPL for fuck's sake. The league that has Zhao who most titles ever. Knight now won more titles ever. Your gals won a bunch of titles. Rookie himself played there. You have fucking, I mean, I just mentioned Rookie, obviously. You have, um, who else in Midland? Scout, two-time MVP last year. You can fucking go. You, Cal, you have so many skilled mid laners in this fucking league, boys. So many bangers. Cream, a monster fucking melee player, one of the better players in the league. But no, no, even though he was the second best mid laner, that doesn't ever make him better than Zika, who was a bum in fucking spring. I don't care what was going on. Because by the way, the LCK votes based on you just being in the top teams. The LPL actually votes based in theory on how good you are and a little bit of the team results. So the idea is a better player. Well, you've just shown you're a cunt who doesn't know the game, didn't you? There you go. Here's a good one. Lal. 
posting before it gets deleted, crying, emoji, crying emojis, which is an XD, another sign of the moron. Another sign of the moron. Oh, wait a minute. Devos, did you go? that's the dickhead who made the post in Cadrill's chat, by the way. Post it before it gets deleted. Low, low. And then this moron actually goes, he's trolling you because he came along after this had already been shown. LMAO. LMAO. Here's a good one. It's not too late to take this down, skull emoji. Yeah, guys, it's not too late to take down a video in which Zika, who in this case is just one LCK, has shown that he overcame all of his doubters to win worlds. That wouldn't be an applicable video. Now you better delete it. Lol. It's like you're not even talking sense, you know, moron. Here's a good one. Is there a joke to this that I'm not aware of? Like it's satire, right? How would it be satire? I did say those things. I chose to voice those things. Then I showed you the juxtaposition of what did happen. As the other guy nailed, apparently there's only one smart guy in the thread. It was a video about overcoming ob ob obstacles and not letting the doubters keep you down. Only this guy gets it. Oh, okay. I mean, I know Thorin's a hater, but I didn't want to jump to that without context. <laughs> Here's a good one. I would bet, get ready, this is mental. I would bet a million dollars. Spoiler, anyone who says that will never have a million dollars and is such a cretin, they would win. They would bet a million dollars that a dog's dick turns inside out and looks like a fucking red hat. Did I win? Oh, shit. You take the million, it's just a dick turned inside out. Oh, my bad. I wonder why I don't ever get millions of dollars. So this moron goes, I would bet a million. They're going to be completely wrong and owe me a million dollars now. That Thorin had a trophy video that was 10 or 20 minutes long. None of these videos I've made have ever even got to 10 minutes as far as I know. It's really hard to make a long narrated video like that where you keep the, all the tension and have the music and the footage. But no, no, secretly, think of how insane this premise is when I lay it out for you. I had two videos. I made a shitty little two-minute one on the off chance Zika won, even though the video is all about him winning Worlds 2022 that he already won. I made that video to tell him to give up because he's shit. And once he loses LCK, the video is actually about, because you lost LCK, you prick, fucking retire, you bum. And I only made that two minutes long because I hate Zika. Because I'm in love with Chovy and I want to oil his body up like I'm Joe Marsh with Orna. No, no, I had a 20 minute, a 10 or 20 minute video about Chovy that get right get ready because Chauvy lost the final in game 5 not even his fault I've now secretly deleted that 20 minute video I made about one of the greatest players of all time because it's worthless now because that's what I do with these historical videos and teaser videos I make crazy high stakes prediction videos that if they go wrong I have to delete all my work and throw it in the recycle bin because that's totally what Thorin would do right delete e important esports historical work that was 20 minutes long with all prestige format yeah yeah that makes total sense and again Again, based on what? Nothing. Based on an imaginary straw man that even though I released this initially on the internet almost four or five days earlier and it had been written a year earlier and I explained all this before this video ever came out or before LCK was ever won by Zika. No, no. I actually am someone who rigs the game and I secretly in everything I do have a crazy seven-dimensional underwater Jenga contingency plan where I pivot and I delete videos, no one's ever been able to prove this ever, to always be right. Even though, by the way, like all of the summoning insight shows I was wrong about DRX. So I've taken a million L's by that logic. Let's keep going. This aged poorly. Lol. Almost anyone who just goes, lol, is almost a, more, almost a moron. Why are you hating on Zika for foot? Lol. Lol's almost up there with the XD. Darwin is such a clown. Well, here's the thing. Just saying I'm a clown, that's not really hitting hard enough. Clown emoji. Oh, he's got him. He said I'm a clown. Like, as a conceptual idea. Then he showed me what a clown's face would look like. And that's me, the clown. Oi, oi. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> Why are they so mentally ill? And then this last one just gets it right. He goes, if you don't, didn't understand what this video was about, I'd pity you. Now, you might think that's surely where it ends, Thorin. You know, what else could there be? Now, sadly, they deleted this one. I assume this is like a Cadrill subreddit or something. I think it was the same person who made it. So this dickhead had a whole post. Yeah, just give up Zika, like they say, did he? And then it's just this dickhead. Oh, that was actually where the tweet came from. And they and now they've deleted it because do you want to know the irony of ironies, guys? They're the coward that they're trying to make me be. You know how I delete videos and shit when it's wrong and 20 minute video. I don't, of course. But when they're wrong. Well, either they just pretend it's not a big deal and go, well, my bad. Or they just literally delete off the internet everything they said that was wrong. Well, I wonder why they get to look right all the time if they delete everything that was wrong. And then this moron goes, um, 
Get ready. This person who's smart goes, it's a hype video for Zika when he won Worlds 2022. Watch the intro for this podcast. So if you just click that link, you'll see the same video played earlier in the week. And I'll even then explain after the video that it was about 2022 Worlds. But this moron goes, nope. This is supposed to be released after LCK Files. He's not even listening or clicking the link being shown to him. He's just ignoring that and to no, I, I'm changing reality. And then he goes, but it taken down because Hanwha Life won Keck W in your face trashing. So now this guy's pretending that because it was set to premiere, so no one had seen the video yet. This also wasn't the video that I was planning to release. The video I was planning to release was the second Zika lost the LCK final. I was going to release a video telling him, fuck you, you bomb, give up. But because they won, I had to scramble and God knows how quickly, or maybe I secretly made the 20 minute video. Who knows? I made this other version that we then released instead and pretended this was the original video. Keck W in my face face. Are you ready? Genius way to change my name. Think about it. Could the Thorin, Boring, I'm snoring, I'm ignoring him. No, no. Ha, I've got one for you guys. You know Thorin? <laughs> Shit, isn't he? More like Trashrin. Trashrin doesn't even work on any level. You can't tell it's Thorin anymore. There's no... T no th and then it Trashrin. What's that then? Like, why would a talking dwarf be trash? It doesn't work on any level. You might as well just said Trash. But then again, you're someone who says Keck W, so yeah, I don't imagine you actually have anything interesting, interesting to say. Here's a good one. A guy comes in and says, it wasn't taken down though. What are you talking about? And then this mentally ill person says, don't worry, he's lost and doesn't get the video. Oh, actually, wait a second, that guy gets it. I thought he meant like Zeke had lost. Okay, he actually gets it. But yeah, then let's go to the real Reddit, shall we? Surely there'd be nothing mentally ill on Check's Notes Reddit. So in this thread, now look, again, you can imagine now a lot of people came and they got it, didn't they? But here's some good ones. Remember, whenever Richard and Lewis and Thorin do anything of value, anything entertaining or anything important in esports, there will always have to be a guy who comes and as high up in the thread, they'll always do this tactic. They'll go as high in the thread as they can to the upvote comments and they will search for a comment that goes like this. I actually think Thorin's a good guy or why do people hate on Richard Lewis and Thorin or... Hey, like, this is a great video. I wonder why people are downvoting it. And then they'll go, aha, got him. And they will pounce from the shadows and go, maybe because he hates all blacks and minorities and gears. And they'll start linking mental non sequiturs that don't show any of that. And they'll go, ah, awesome. This was a thread that was becoming like an appreciation thread about someone who did some free work that I got to enjoy. I won't allow that. I'll actually do what I'm pretending Thorin was doing about Zika. Just hate on him. And I'll just go in there and put as many evil comments as I can about how all sorts of nonsense shite. So you can see here a guy goes, people are going to be like, oh my God, Thorin's so negative trying to call out Zika. And then this moron goes, more like, oh my God, Thorin, so bigoted towards minorities and women, which is very true. Remember what I told you? I could literally save a million women from cancer. I've actually helped women in esports make at this point probably millions of dollars, by the way, in salary. But nothing I ever do in the mind of a lunatic, will ever make me anything except someone who just hates all women. Because they're extremely mentally ill, tilting at windmills to have enemies that don't exist. Because their own sickness inside tells them they can't just be normal people or cool people on the internet. Everyone except the, uh, the people they like has to be evil. So there we go. Now this person even tries to explain... Like, that I had Raz on something insight. So if I hated blacks or minorities, why the fuck would I feature a black caster, by the way, when he was very unknown? Back when he, before he even got on the LCS, by the way, or the LPL. I even used to do a podcast with him. I did one called Middle Kingdom Minds, because Middle Kingdom's another name for fucking China. That was about the LPL. I think it was in like 20... 2019, maybe? It was me and Raz did it. We did it for VP Esports initially, and then they wouldn't pay for it, so I did it on my own channel. You can go look it up on my YouTube channel. Then also he points out, I just did a reflections with Afro Moon, who crumbs, crumbs is from Venezuela, I think. Afro Moon was obviously African-American. But no, no, even though I hate minorities, I'm just going out my way to just platform them and give them like all attention and tell them all cool things about their career. So then this person tries to explain, like, well, yeah, he has non-progressive views on Twitter. This goes, it's more than non-progressive. This is a guy who's been retweeting niche extreme right freaks and white nationalists more than a few times over the years. Zero links given. Bunk articles by Russia Today. Right, what articles from Russia Today have I ever retweeted? First of all, it wouldn't even be insane. You're trying to imply because it's Russia Today, it's all about Russia and I must support Russia. No, no, Russia Today, like every other 
foreign-based news website does news about other parts of the world. So one of the reasons why sometimes you might want to read those is they can say things that don't go along with the regime of your country. It's why, for example, if you're from the UK, if you can, try and tune into like, for, what's it called? Like Can Canal 24. They're like one where the French news one does an English broadcast about the news and they'll sometimes address British news. But because it's not from Britain, you'll get a very different perspective on it and certain takes that are different from the French perspective as opposed to the British one but no no if if any news was ever published on Russia today that's basically like posting Mein Kampf and saying I agree with it that's what a mentally ill person would say by the way this has 52 points then he goes an ultra nationalist state media apparatus in Russia now he knows he still has never maintained that I've ever even done anything about that a bunk article by Russia Today. This is this is completely fabricated, by the way. Another mentally ill person, after I posted like, what, 50 million words on the internet and thousands of hours, couldn't find anything actually at Madabot, so they made something up. He goes, famously expressed admiration for Alex Jones. So what I said was he's a G, and I found him hilarious and thought he did some good journalism. He goes, who was one of the most sickening scumbags anyone could name offhand. By the way, what they always do there is the Carlos Andrew Tate thing. They go, and he was in, in some loose way connected to this person. So now when I tell you how evil and bad this person is, that means basically by transitive property, they are just as bad and it's them who did their crimes. So basically, if Andrew Tate in any way did anything fucked up like traffic women or trick them in a web camera, that means Carlos did all those things by featuring him in a tweet that's the little game they're playing even though from their language you would think they're really serious and it's important they're safeguarding the community against evil dangerous um, ultra nationalist extremists with ties to Russia and conspiracy theorists and maybe I even approve of him like harassing the dead parents you know what I mean that's, that's the shit game we're playing now because there's nothing actually that I've ever done wrong that's why you can't nail me. I've never lied in my entire professional career, 23 years long. I've only helped people and harmed the fuck faces. How are you like that, eh? Then he goes, he seems to have a fondness for fake journalists, right? If you don't know about journalism, Alex Jones has done more correct stories than probably any mainstream outlet. Now, he's definitely done some that certainly you would not be able to ever prove. Some of them may indeed turn out to be nonsense. But spoiler, so has CNN, so has BBC, so have all of those. But you don't give a fuck about that because the government and the regime tells you, but they're not evil right-wing stinky poo-poos. So this moron doesn't care that a CNN posts nonsense about medical matters, about the wars in certain countries, literal lies about reasons why you get into wars or what happens in them and financial stuff. That None of that matters because they're not evil, stinky right-wing people and you're a lunatic tick on fucking reddit this is a good one he literally retweets nazi accounts magically there's never a link have you noticed that all you'd have to do is get a screenshot but there's never a, there's never a screenshot but all these nazis because as i'm sure you know 16 points to a redditor a Nazi, unironically, is someone who thinks, for example, maybe like men and women are different biologically. Uh, you need a mum and a dad to grow up well balanced. People should work hard and not just be given everything for free in a communist dystopia. Yeah, that's what makes you like an evil Nazi right wing extremist in the modern day. So, yeah, there we go. Non progressive is extremely generous, right? So, I'm not even just non progressive, because that would be extremely generous, right? He's implying I actually literally am a Nazi. I am a follower of national socialism as per, as portrayed by the German government of what was it like 1933 to fucking 1945 or something because I retweeted an account on Twitter and he's being generous by saying that All right cool cool this comment was so bad even reddit moderators removed it I just downvoted him because fuck Reddit mods, right? <laughs> Here we go. This guy at least gets it. He just goes, shades of Watch Me The Perks video. But okay, it is. It's sort of similar, right? He goes, I'm pretty sure it's an homage to that specifically. It wasn't. I, what's funny is it might have been a mixture of parallel thinking or maybe I remembered some of that, but I think I did a very different approach to it overall anyway because I actually took the things I'd said, not just general haters of Burks, right? Things I'd actually even said. This guy even posts the original. Here's a good one. Plebs on X, calling it an L before release and entirely missing the point. Calling it X. LMAO, what a pleb. It's literally called X. Right, 
In the same fucking discussion and video, guys, people wig out that I call him Zeke instead of Zeka, which would never be his name, because they've heard him called Zeka on the English broadcast for LCK. So they think it's very important you call things what they're supposed to be called, except when Twitter.com gets bought by Elon Musk and renamed to X.com. So the name is literally X. But then if you say X, you're cringe and a pleb because, I don't know, Elon Musk's also some stinky right wing... Huh, yeah, calling it X, LMO, what a pleb. Yeah, because Twitter's such a cool name, isn't it? So cool. So, so very cool. This guy even gets it right. I, I do just nail it with these fucking videos. But here's what's mental. Get ready. This guy goes, first the death video, now the Zika video. Thorin's weird, but the lock on these videos is crazy. Why am I weird because of that? Why would me being weird even need to be in there? Oh, hey, he's nailed it twice with two players from the same team that did actually win Worlds. So he did a really good job with them. I think they're really good. And you know what? It's mad because his timing means he releases them at almost the perfect time. By the way, he's weird. In what way am I weird? In what way, mean girls, am I weird? Am I trying to make give up Zika a thing? Like fetch? No, you daft I just posted something on the internet you could enjoy, but you had to tell me I am weird on the internet. Then this person's another lunatic. He goes, he always works a cheeky opening should things work out in a surprising way. It's planned to work both when they lose as expected or when they win. A standard on an underdog hype video. Right, so my video of death, where I cleverly set up his whole career, then say like, what will you show me now? Even though no one thought there was anything to show. That's just standard. That's what everyone does. They all release hype videos before the semi-finals of the World Championship. And then the guy then, they they, they shared in that he might go and win. That's, that's not even vaguely what's standard for an underdog hype video, by the way. When shocks went, it starts with success, but they also might still lose this series. Honestly, she didn't do that. She actually took the gamble. And then unfortunately for her, even though she was doing the same thing me. She was making a point about what it takes to succeed, it takes to win. And she never promised they would win at all, but people treat it like that because you're dunces. So then he he thinks I especially wrote this video that's about Worlds 2022. And I released it in 2024 so that if Zika won or lost LCK, an unrelated tournament that I don't even mention Hanwha Life in the entire video, by the way, that way, if he'd have lost, the video would still work. Yeah, because it's about Worlds 2022. Even the people who think they get it don't get it. Here's another good conspiracy theory. I like this one. Lock? Lock? Yes, I think it's pretty lucky, dude, that when Zika has only won two tournaments in his entire career, both of them he wasn't favoured to win, DRX massively so. I think also he had very low chances. I think I bet on Hanwha Life to win that match, by the way. I won and they had 4.80 odds. Enormous odds for a best of five between the two best teams in Korea or the world. And then even though I released videos right before then, before in both cases, and he then went on to magically win those two tournaments. The only times ever, and I've never done videos about his team at all. I did one about Death from his team for Worlds, and then they won Worlds. I did one about Zika, and then he won LCK. Even though I've never done another video ever, so I'm, go I'm batting two for two, aka a 1, thousand, a hundred percent rate of batting success. This guy goes, lock. He goes, question mark, question mark. Well, which is it? Did I already know that it was coming out? No, it's obviously lock, isn't it? That's a totally legit comment. Here's a good one. Another conspiracy. He probably has both videos ready just in case. Unless this was dropped before, fine. We're still speculating. It was it days before it's all on video. Oh, it was made before finals. Then I got, you know what? I'm going to give this guy props though. No wonder he was downvoted. He's the only guy that actually took it on the chin. He goes, then I got egg on my face. My other guess was he probably makes open-ended videos and if he's right, he looks like a beast. And if he's wrong, he could be like, oh, well, oh, my bad. I take back the props. You still backed into a stupid conspiracy theory. That is not true. And just put this nonsense of, if I was right, I look like a beast. So what he's implying is I look like a beast, but it's fake because I rigged it so I'd win either way. And I don't even get to win when I win. And then he goes, and if he's wrong, he can be like, oh, well, how could I ever be wrong about Zika overcoming the odds to win Worlds 2022 in a video recorded in 2024 and written in 2023? How could I ever be wrong? Do you have access to a time machine and do you have a T-1000 to send back to stop me? If not, you are the one who is wrong, who cannot take the L. Here's another good one. People hate on him, but Thorin is a content maniac. Now get ready. Now we're going to have to again explain a bunch of shit. Even though, again, I am a concept maniac and I've done loads of great stuff. Let's find a way we can be negative about it. So this guy goes, eSports' story is pretty accurate. Their EG stuff is really good and it doesn't necessarily serve as maximizing clicks right now, but rather having a piece of eSports history documented rather than forgotten. Also adds context for newer fans who might not know everything older fans know. 
This guy goes, I feel like the world has too many people who conflate competence and morals. By the way, I, even that I hate. The idea that I'm an immoral, bad person. It's the opposite, you dickhead. I'm one of the only people with morals and I don't exist as a product of my time where I just go along... You're all fucking goose stepping along on sexual identity fucking mad agendas of butchering people in the world. But no, no, because I exist outside of time as someone actually has eternal uh, like principles that will be immortal, by the way, and literally align with the world religions too about what it means to be a good person. No, no, because you like my work, but you just assume I'm a piece of shit too. Just say, well, he might be good at his job even if he's immoral. In what way am I immoral, you fucking twat? And he goes, and it baffles me why people downplay someone's competence because of perception. Perceived morality issues. Yeah, you're right there. It's because of perceived ones, isn't it? He goes, you can shit on someone for being an asshole. Right, I'm now an asshole. Right, even though he's making a general point. Even though I've done this video and nothing about it would be asshole behavior. Let's just say I'm an asshole. I'm weird and an asshole and probably a liar and probably have a secret 20-minute video. I deleted and I should delete this. It was all hating on Zika. I predicted he would win in a video I never predicted anything. Yeah, let's just do everything. Let's do a million lies until nothing about reality looks anything like the actual world we see outside of our eyes, eh? So this guy goes... Because it casts doubts on the authenticity slash authority of his claims. Right. So I'm not authentic with what I say. I'm probably the most authentic person in the history of this industry, by the way. I'm one of the most authentic people you could ever hope to meet in the world. Also, I'm someone, the authority of my claims. My claims that he won Worlds 2022 and people were saying he wouldn't. Right, so because I'm a piece of shit, that casts doubts both on whether I'm actually authentic, but mean what I say. If anything, people would argue the problem is I, I say the things I mean and I say them without filter. And then also, now I have no authority. I'm not a 20 plus year esports historian, knows what he's talking about. He goes, I might entertain the ideas of a normal person. I'm also not a normal person, right? I'm not, but I'm extraordinary. But I'm, I think, two or three times before I trust the egomaniac except that says egglomaniac, the egomaniac who said, I am esports, I never wrote it with a capital I, yes, so why you even put that in there? Also, this dickhead's a Hooney fan and was hating on an entire half of the species. Right, so guys, it's all back about women again. So he has to think two or three times about someone who has never been proven to have lied in 23 years and tens of thousands of pieces of content but he has to think two or three times before he can trust me because I once put on Twitter, I am esports, and I am. And I also hated on an entire half of the species. Right, so when I said I thought it was very unfair that Semler was criticised for seeing ESL making a women's league used a fraudulent advertising angle by saying it was created because men are toxic to women in solo queue and that that has nothing to do with the league and that then people attacked Semler as if he said he hated women or there shouldn't be a women's league. That then means, like all the haters and gaslighters have said, that I don't like women. In fact, I hate women and think they are inferior and shouldn't be allowed to compete in any form of esports competition, especially not their own leagues, something I've never said in every piece of content and every opinion and every philosophy I've ever manifested as being part of who I am goes against. That means I hate the entire female side of the species, the human, the homo sapien. I hate all women. And it's been shown. So he can't trust things I say because of what mentally happened inside his broken, diseased brains. Some of his videos, Reflection, the one I watch, this twat watches my content after all that. Apparently, I hear all women, but he still watches my content. So by his own logic, he supports financially and with his attention the work of someone who hates every single woman in the world, including his mother, anyone he'll ever love as a woman, his daughter. It sounds like he's a corrupt piece of shit. Maybe we shouldn't listen to what this wanker says. But apparently my Reflections interviews don't need my credibility. Why would this video need my credibility? But a lot of his content, it's never going to be, of course, a lot of his content is based around takes. That's not even true. Which I can't trust. He can't trust my takes now because he's really biased, full stop. Not even like in what way or to who or why or is that a problem? By the way, how could someone, I won't do the whole rant I've done every other video. How could someone have a take or an opinion without it having biases? Biases just means you choose one thing over another. So as a result, if you didn't have a form of discriminating and choosing this is better than that and for this reason over that and for this thing and at this point over that time and it could have gone this way but it went that way. If you didn't do any of that, how could you ever have an opinion or a take? But because he's mentally ill, I shouldn't have opinions. My take should just be like, Zika won worlds. Oh, good. Costorin didn't give a biased opinion there. I can trust that that's correct. 
Let's just go down to the bottom here. That's weird. Why are you all these down for today? Here's a good one. A dumb fuck non-British person. I'm English, by the way. My history is English going back thousands of years. Thousands. Your country didn't even exist, Americans. Australia, your country didn't exist either. Anyone in the Anglosphere, it's us. We're the English. So I speak the English language. It's still to this day called English. Though I have many times said, you should rename your version Americans to American because it isn't English and you don't understand English. So an idiot English person goes, is the narrator Mark... I swear to God, I thought dynasty was pronounced dynasty, not dynasty. And this person who understands I'm English, so I speak Czech notes English accurately, goes British English, that's just English, mate, pronounces it dynasty. Dynasty is how Americans pronounce it. Brilliant. Zika, a million people go, man, oh, look, someone who's an actual fan of FPX and knows about... Um, Milky Way, and probably watches the LPL, goes, he was always called Zika when he was in the LPL. It changed after he went back to LCK. A dickhead, of course, just goes, I'll stick with Zika, which, by the way, isn't how his name is pronounced by Koreans, or Zika himself. Thorin, not be cringe challenge. Lol, I'm cringe. I'm cringe by giving it up to someone I don't even rate because they won the biggest competition in the world and giving them the best possible authentic way of giving them props. How cringe. You know what? People who say cringe are cringe. It's very rare ever that I even say the word cringe because it's just used by losers like an XD. Here we go. It's not, this guy goes, the point of the video just flew over your head. He goes, it's not exactly hard to understand, but checks out for right-wing gamers thinking this is intellectual content, LMAO. Everything I don't like on the internet is right-wing. So this video was made by right-wing Ah, oh, fucking hell. Yes, the core tenets of fascism, as explained by Mussolini, were essential to creating this video, giving Zika props for winning Worlds 2022. You've nailed me. I don't know what Julius Evola book I was reading when I came up with the idea for this intellectual content. Give me a fucking break. Then he goes, nobody thinks this is intellectual. Did you even watch the video? Let's see him double down again implies there is a deep meaning to this video that isn't completely surface level. Like, are you serious? Yeah, he just said it was cringe. It's not, it's cool as fuck, by the way. It's about the coolest Zika video you can make. And then he goes, what's the point of the video? Because you notice how he just won't say what he thinks the point of the video is because he doesn't know it. He goes, you good? This may be the stupidest video I've ever seen. Not only is it insane hyperbole, but really, this is the stupidest video you've ever seen. Is it the second video you've ever seen? Here's a good one again. It's not Zika, it's Zeka. Another person just explains that. Here's a good one. It's Zeka. He even explained it, fake T1 fan. Actual person who knows Korean goes, no, it isn't. It's this in Korean, which is more like Jika in Korean pronunciation anyway. It's not Zika or whatever. Okay, actually, what's funny is that he's actually vaguely uh, disagreeing with me, but also disagreeing with this guy. Yeah, he's right. It's all wrong, technically. But you know why I won't say Jika? Because I also don't call the T1 mid laner Peker, but they don't have the letter F in Korean. So they say Peker. Did you not know that? Did you know my favorite player, Flame, the top laner? They call him Plame. That's not a joke. That's real. You could also, by the way, check any of this by pulling up YouTube and just poking up an LCK VOD where one of these players plays from the LCK broadcast from the Korean side and listen to the comms like I did for the LPL and you would instantly know what they call these people. This was shit, LMAO. Are people calling this good because their favorite right winger is narrating it? Right. You know what, guys? The joke here is I'll just make the joke that I'm obviously a right winger because Ronaldo's my favorite player and he was a left winger. I'd want to be part of the inverted winger pair with him. We would be like fake strikers who'd score loads of goals. But no, no, I'm incredibly right wing as proven by the fact that I don't, check notes, say left wing things. And I'm narrating it. And because I'm right wing, the very famous right wing hub called Reddit, and for God's sakes, the League of Legends subreddit, that to this day makes up insane lies from the mods about Richard Lewis because they just banned him because they're utter twats and don't like him politically. No, no, it's about being right-wing. Cool. Dickhead comes in, hard agree. 
Dorin still being part of the league community and esports in general is a gamer moment. Right, so a gamer moment they're implying is when you get really mad and you say like the N-word or the F slur in chat. So me being part of the community, which in this case means, checks notes, being able to release a video on YouTube. Me being on YouTube, I didn't submit it to Reddit. Me being able to release videos on YouTube, I should just banned off the entire internet for being an evil right-wing guy. Me being able to release a video is just like gamers just saying the N-word to each other in COD lobbies. Do you think any of this is going on inside their brains or do you think it's actually going on in reality and to do with me and my life? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting that, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. Not much more to go. It's all good, boys. Another good one. Resident insane lunatic who I think the mods allow to do this, even though it's incredibly antisocial because they just agree with all of his takes, comes in as usual. One day I'll do a video on this. He's actually one of the most mentally ill TSM fans of all time. And for 10 years, this has been saying insane shit where every single thing he quotes and shows is always a lie and always mistreated and always misconstrued and always miscontextualized because he just hates me. Even though, are you ready for those mental thing ever? Elsewhere on Reddit, he'll even post in like subreddits not even to do with esports about me as an example of evil right-wing people and say stuff like that I'm a fantastic interviewer and that my reflections are some of the best content in esports because he's an extremely mentally ill TSM fan. If you don't know, the original TSM fans are the most nuts in esports because they were mad at summoning insight from episode one onwards because are you ready in the spring of season four 2014 when we began summoning insight the best team the reigning champions of na were cloud nine remember they'd just gone 30 and three in the summer split to win it without losing a series then they went to world's lost to fanatic they won the battle of the atlantic over fanatic uh they didn't do well at im cologne then they came back to europe and in europe uh, sorry, in, in North America. Then they came back, and in North America, TSM was like briefly ahead of them at one point in the league, maybe. I don't even think that was true, because it wasn't the opening game, the one where High played Timo against Bjergsen and won in like that fucking mad matchup when Bjergsen just joined. But because Bjergsen had joined TSM, all TSM fans were convinced they must be the number one team now. So when we said they're just number two, and we thought the odd one wasn't a good enough mechanical jungler, how did that work out? By the way, TSM didn't win this split. Then they swapped out the odd one, got amazing, and won the next split and went to top eight at Worlds. So it's almost like we were right. When me and Monty pointed that out on Summoning Insight, that Cloud9 was the real number one team and TSM was number two, we were labelled haters forever. It said that we just hate TSM, and we're, we're the ones that are mentally ill. That's what made people like this person radicalised and mentally ill. And for 10 years, he's still going on now, making up fantasies about who I must be, all to relate back to me, in his mind, underrating TSM, checks notes in a ranking of who the best teams are in NA. Okay. It's a bit, isn't it a bit telling that Thorin maintains his popularity and relevance by constantly bringing people who are way better, both skill-wise and being a decent human being-wise, down, especially kicking them when they're down there, right? So he's so mentally ill, he didn't watch the video and th or thinks the video is me telling Zika to give up and they quit. So he already is completely failed and we're supposed to believe this guy got 10 years of accurate comments about me and my political beliefs. He has already failed to understand the video and thinks it's a video mocking Zika. And that my whole popularity and relevance is making videos and content that mock famous people. My historical content is 99% positive and celebrates history. Everyone who watches my content would know that. And watch any of my shows. It's not people arguing. It's people laughing and having a great time and making jokes for hours and hours with really entertaining content, exploring all the different regions. I even ask people to disagree with me or give me their take of the I'm delusional but no no a mentally ill person said that and get ready Zika is way better than I am in skill well at league obviously but if you mean skill generally I'm obviously better at my job than Zika as it is that's not even debatable you fucking cretin then the idea that Zika is a, is a decent human being compared to me on the basis you haven't read his Twitter therefore couldn't make up mental arguments like this how mentally ill and apparently I was kicking them when they're down because I made a video about him winning Worlds 2022 and then he won LCK. But because he thinks I thought Zika was going to lose LCK and then this video was making him get him down. It's almost like this guy's really mentally ill. Look at all this one. Told a rioter who had a medically necessary abortion she is a baby killer and whore. Right. Get ready for the reality of this. I'll do this. When he says a rioter, this person was never a rioter. Rioter doesn't even just mean you work with Riot, by the way. It means you're literally someone who can put Riot in front of your name. You're an employee of Riot. This person was never an employee of Riot. They did something like worked like an audio version of the LCS broadcast very briefly and appeared in one content segment ever. They weren't even on the LCS. But no, no, I told a rioter already he's had to lie about the facts to make this seem worse because somehow to him, seeing rioters like saying to like a fucking minority, like he told a bloody riot. 
rioter, into a rioter. As all them working for riot made them some paragon of virtue because they got hired by riot. Checks notes a company that had to pay $100 million as a fine for sexually harassing women for 10 years. Mm. Then he goes, who had a medically necessary abortion because to a mentally ill person like this, all abortion is medically necessary. It wasn't a medically necessary abortion as far as I know. The person just had an abortion. That's it. They even bragged later about how they did it. I believe this is what they said with like pills they ordered off the internet because they pretended to be in a state where there were no abortions. It's not even true as far as I know from Googling it. They took fucked up pills. They even said something mad like they were in bed for a week and almost died from it because they took these insane pills while at home by themselves to kill their baby. And then are you ready? This is the best part of it all. They then bragged online that if any other woman out there wanted to know how to get the pills and do this, they would tell them how to do it. They then did a fundraiser for their cats having a problem or something, and I think for this abortion, to just get the public to pay for it all. But no, apparently I told that person, get ready, I didn't even do that. You're going to see that in a second. I told that person that they are a baby killer and a whore. Let's have a look at what the reality of that statement is. Because I don't care. I, the truth will always set you free. So here's what I said. That's weird. Unemployed loser. But if you look here, you can't see it. But notice that the name I'm replying to, who was making a comment to Jordan Sy, that Dr. Eastbourne guy, he just said something like Thorin, Thorin L. He just put Thorin L. Now, this was to someone, draw de Sucaria. Right, that's not a rioter or a woman who had an abortion. So that's weird. He said, I told a rioter, remember, he told a rioter who had a medically necessary abortion that she is a baby killer and a whore. What I actually did was respond to someone who has a South American name, because this was actually her boyfriend, Yoltz, who used to work, I think it's like a coach in Team Liquid or something, who replied to Jordan Sine and said, I had a Thor in L. So as soon as I knew this story about what that individual did, the person called Space Ghost, separately, this woman that he's referring to, who was the girlfriend of this person, live-in girlfriend, they'd also bragged elsewhere about all the, the ways they had to raise money and all these things that had. So I said, since he's calling me an L, because I pointed out, by the way, that Danny, they probably shouldn't have been bragging in AG about how they were using all these young players since one of them just mentally broke down and had to quit playing the fucking game. And I even knew this behind the scenes about the Danny situation, and I was the one who broke it. But at the time, EG fans actually had the goal and NA people in the scene to make out like I was the one mocking Danny, and I was the one who was wrong, and EG were the good guys. How did that age... So, then let's get into this next part. So then I put to that guy, not to Space Ghost, I said, you're an unemployed loser at the time he'd lost his job and he was begging everyone the money to pay for like his cats and this abortion. And I put begging strangers on the internet. Remember, we're talking about who's, who's an L. For money to pay for the consequences. Notice I didn't say, she's been, I put the consequences of your girlfriend killing your child. Now, all the things I just said, they're absolutely fact. Their girlfriend killed their child. Never even said baby, I said child. Child means offspring, by the way, you dumb fox. If it's something you create as offspring, it is your offspring. Even the word fetus means that if you don't know that. The word fetus doesn't mean dictionary definition, not a human. That's some mad political modern day shit. Fetus just means your offspring, the child that's coming through. So since they killed them and they were asking for money for this, I'm pointing out that because of the consequences of killing that kid, they're asking for money and begging for it. That's what makes the L. Nothing to do with the abortion part. I put your life as a walking L. But then I remembered that this person had implied that I think they that had implied they fucked multiple people and it was maybe even an open relationship or something. So then I thought, well, actually, technically, as a judge, I can't know that it's actually his child, can I? I had never knew that, know that if they had sex off, he's even the father. So then I put, as a follow-up, technically, I don't know whose child it was. Could well be someone else's, even more of an L. Now, that, according to him, is I told a rioter, I never told a rioter, never spoke to them, that had a medically necessary abortion, absolutely not provable, he has no evidence of that whatsoever, that she's a baby killer, I didn't say that, I said she did kill her child, that is a fact, and that she's a whore, because I implied that I don't know who the father is. Do you see already how just from that sentence alone, you know this is a mentally deranged lunatic? And notice how this post isn't deleted. Now, they claim quite literally, guys, in the rules of Reddit, we'll go to the subreddit rules here. Get ready. Right, so here's some of the things. But number one behavior rule, no personal attacks. Do not insult, personally attack, or tell other people to hurt themselves or others. And hate speech and all these other things is removed. Claims require evidence. Think how many things in there did not have evidence. Is that evidence of what this guy just said? 
Is it? It isn't. So why don't the subs, why doesn't it get removed by the mods? Like any other comment where you said something in a right wing way would. Because they actually agree with this person. So what the rods are doing here is they're the corrupt prison guard seeing me getting jumped on the yard by some fucked up people who hate me. And they're going, I see nothing. Carry on. Carry on, inmates, while they all beat me up in the yard. That's what they're trying to do now. So there's the first one. I immediately knocked that one out, didn't I? Let's go to the other two, shall we? So this one's brilliant, because I've already done a whole video. You can walk, go watch the Frankie Ward one. If you go watch my Frankie Ward video, there we go. By the way, I did delete this, because you can imagine lunatics just kept linking it and lying about it. But if you just read the whole thing, I'll scroll now so you can read it if you want later. I'll just show you... Aside from watching the Frankie video, I do an in-depth breakdown. I would just say this brief thing. What he says there, condones the use of homophobic slurs, right? I condone the use, specifically, not of words, of homophobic slurs. So I actually said, when a player ca uh, called Mo in Counter-Strike and a streamer said the F slur, I explained the etymology of the word. Now, if you keep reading down, I later explain this. Hey, get ready, get ready. I say in this tweet here, if he had said it to someone who is publicly homosexual and in a manner explicitly insulting him, so in other words, as a homophobic slur, on the basis of his sexuality, then you would have a fringe case whereby you could claim the meaning was clear and unacceptable, certainly. So he said over here, I condone the use of homophobic slurs. I actually explained that if you're using it in a homophobic context, that is unacceptable and it is clearly unacceptable and homophobic. Notice how, again, as I explain here, my words mean the absolute opposite of his because he's a lunatic and a tyrant. Notice how we're only two links in and everything has been a lie and inverted because that's what demons do. Demons rely on inversion. It's why, by the way, Satanists always use Christian symbols inverted or put upside down, for example. Last one. Let's just do this one. Here's a good one. Retweets white nationalist great replacement theory propaganda. Okay, so by the way, he's already implying there is no replacement demographically going on in Western countries. So I retweeted, this is like in 2017 or something, an account called Battle Beagle, where they posted saying 2025 to 2030, the Dems have the numbers for a permanent supermajority thanks to immigration. Doesn't even say illegal immigration, doesn't even say the race of people. It just says immigration. So by the way, that in theory would include people coming from Norway and Japan and China. There's loads of Chinese people going in all these countries. By the way, loads of Chinese people even come apparently to Mexico and just go over the border. Order. So he, he then points out that because of immigration, their majority is growing and that the constitution won't save you in terms of winning elections, that as the as immigration increases, the Democrats will win. That's it. That's the whole thing. That I retweeted that post means that I have retweeted white nationalist great replacement theory propaganda as opposed to literal facts about the um, demographic makeup of the country and immigration demographics. So we're already three in and they were all lies. But if they're all lies and they're his best ones, get ready. And countless other incidents and blunders that his fans ignore because ginger man talk about video game. No, no, it's the other way around. He's tried to play on the ginger man mad meme about morons like him. No, no. For him, because I did those tweets, which he had to lie about in his broken brain, that means even if I talk about video game good, that's never acceptable. It's totally unacceptable. Then he says I'm morally bankrupt after lying repeatedly in this first post alone. Morally bankrupt, man. I'm thrilled that he's less relevant than he used to be and has to rebrand as some edgy free speech channel to get clicks and views. He actually thinks Last Free Nation is an edgy free speech channel. Do you know how many times I've now had this? Last Free Nation is like a mega neutral title that's just about the idea you're not part of the original system. But it's constantly being rebranded as though it had like the fucking SS lightning bolts next to it or something. It's like, it's obvious. It's just obvious to everyone. It's evil and Nazi. No, no, that means your brain is broken and you just see these ghosts everywhere that don't exist, bro. You're mentally ill. Here's a good one, because it's true. This guy, because if you ever look into his account, oh, by the way, he's a massive fan of bread tubers, if you know what that is. He watches VTubers, and he's a Destiny fan. Holy shit. He doesn't have a platform that fills... He's mad that I get to put my ideas in other people's brains. Even though, by the way, he has posted probably a hundred times on Reddit these types of posts with these types of stupid links. By the way, over and over and over and over and over again for years. I might even just do a video about him just to show you what this guy is and monetize him. 
mental in it. Here's another good one. I feel like this would have had more weight and relevance if you linked and timestamped all the time story and discounted and shit on Zika in his various podcasts when he was glazing Viper, who was way better than Zika. And ironically, the only time Zika was maybe even better than Viper was maybe in the playoffs of this LCK summer. And blaming Zika is the reason this team will never do anything. That was a very good reason to blame. Now, the moment Zika wins, every, I, by the way, I also said it was Piotr and Beryl were way worse and King and way worse than Zika. Now, the moment Zika wins, everyone else was wrong and Thorin always believed in Zika. Where in the video or on all those shows you're talking about or even on Twitter have I ever said I always believed in Zika? It's a mentally ill straw man. And as the guy points out, the video was made before he even won. It was marked to premiere. It was played in the episode. He goes, they beat T1. That's enough for Thorin to do a 180. Let's just see that this guy is categorically wrong. So we played this on Summoning Insight, which was on Wednesday of that week. The finals was on Sunday. Are you ready? He says that they'd already beaten T1. That is literally, factually not true. In the upper bracket, um, let's see, Hanwa beat T1 there. All right, that's I'm forget. I'm mixing up Genji and Hanwell. I've not to right. So they beat T1 there. I guess they had beaten them there. But then in the lower bracket, Hanwell beat T1 there. They beat T1. That's enough for Thorin to want to eat his opinion because it gives him a chance to shit on T1 and Dom's but right. I now Dom invented thinking T1's overrated because of fans like this. My life for AO with a T1 flair. Because Dom invented it, I'm like Don's manservant or his Renfeld or something. I have to just do what Dom... Please, Master Dom, please, I've done more hating on T1 content, Master Dom. Oh, I don't know if I'll make you a... Look, man, I don't know if I'll make you a vampire yet, bro. It's like, I can't even do a Dom impression. I watch a fair bit of their stuff while I paint, yeah, with your shit on a wall in an insane asylum, you can't. And the Zika slander he's peddled since 2022 Worlds is immense. Imagine being a fucking faker and T1 stan and thinking it's slander that Zika and D1 were a massive fluke to win 2022 Worlds. My dude, that was supposed to be Faker's Worlds, you fucking cretin. Are you even a fan? Do you e do your eyes even tell you what's happening in the game or do you just see the Nexus blow up and go, I guess they were better because they blew up? Mental illness. Mental illness. Mental illness. This is a good one too. Of course he has done some awful shit. I've never done anything awful. And shoot, be damned for those things. Should be, but I'm not damned because I haven't done anything wrong. But why are you talking about just him? Why is there still a TSM flare in your name? Isn't Reggie the guy who abused his players? Or oh, don't worry, he has defended Reggie and Org the whole time. And up until a few years when people like Lena and Dublin starts talking out, he used to be one of the guys who'd be like, they're just jealous, Monty and Thorin, of, 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 of Reggie because he's rich and he could afford two Lambos and smash it. And he fucks Lena. And they're just jealous because he's more relevant and Riot likes them. And, and, and then he was the one carrying water for someone who was literally an abusive wanker. Cool. Let's look at some others quickly. Get to work, and then this dickhead shows up. It's been a while, actually. By the way, he'd done it within this year. Don't worry, he always does. Then this guy just got downvoted for Saints, really great. I mean, fuck him, right? How dare you say that's good? Everyone needs a support network, and mine is, of course, my Patreon community, the Screw Minority, who, in many ways, they're the sunny to my share, saying, I got you, babe. So this video and all the others on my channel were kindly supported by the following names. Ahmed Haju, Matt Pugnaccio Rakula, Adam Tomlin, Animosity, Jensen Gore, Tosh, Toucan, and you know it. Jerky's Minion, my main man, always going to be referenced, one of the best patrons of all time. Would you like to ask a question in my AMA? Maybe you want to suggest a topic or a guest to see on my channel? Do you want teasers? Find out who the upcoming reflections and talk to Thorin interviews are. Maybe you want to do one of those long discussions where you get to set the topics we talk about. Well, if any of these or others appeal to you, put your money where your mouth is. Join the Skaluminati today via the Patreon link in the description box below.